on, let's go, Ron. Come no, on, no, we shouldn't go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, Ron. Don't be a killjoy. Come on, come on. We're back. We're bad. You're black. I'm mad. Come on, let's go. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, shit. Hey, 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 listen. If we're going, shouldn't I have a gun? No. It's been three years since Mel Gibson and Danny Glover last got together to star in the action film sequel, Lethal Weapon 2. The worldwide popularity of this 1989 movie proved to its studio, Warner Brothers, that there was still plenty of box office gold left to be made from its lethal combination of high-budget special effects. and the comic adventure chemistry between now. the stars. Only if you let me drive. Move over, I'll drive. Go around the other side. He's getting no, away. Go around the other I'll side. Drive. I'm driving. Move I'm over. Driving. I'll drive. I'll drive. Now, this month in Los Angeles, Gibson bang, and Glover are at it go. again. The two are back before cameras as the action continues in Lethal Weapon 3. Lethal Weapon 3 brings the stars back together for a third time with producer Joel Silver and director Richard Donner. But Gibson says making number three is still the toughest one yet. It gets harder each time to, um, you know, keep it fresh and to come uh, and surprise and to be fresh. But uh, you just, it's, it gets harder. That's all there is to it. So you've always got to find a way of doing that. The plot of Lethal Weapon 3 picks up on the adventures of Los Angeles cops Myrtle and Riggs as they try to break up an illegal weapons ring. It's a subject not too far from today's newspaper headlines. Well, it's the weapons, you know. Weapons are fairly available nowadays. And, you know, you're trying to look at that kind of problem and maybe say something about it and entertain on the way. Co-star Glover says even he finds the films entertaining. I, I think that I, I, even though I'm not a great fan of action films, I'm sure, certainly a fan of, of the kind of nuances that happen when, when two people get together and, and have fun. Between Lethal Weapon films, Gibson has sought out variety in his screen roles. He played a drug dealer opposite Michelle Pfeiffer in Tequila Sunrise. And his comic teaming with Goldie Hawn in Bird on a Wire produced a box office hit. Many Gibson fans were then surprised when the actor decided to take on none other than Hamlet. In Franco Zeffirelli's sweeping epic production, Gibson says he keeps returning to Lethal Weapon films, however, because he likes the character. Hey, sorry, Adolf. I get a vicarious thrill out of the things that he can do. I can't do that stuff. I couldn't get away with it. But we all get a vicarious thrill out of, you know, what it would be like to let go and forget about the rules of society from time to time and uh, take matters into our own hands, if you know what I mean. Gibson admits there is one disadvantage to shooting action movies. And well, there's a lot of activity, so you find yourself usually... Um, I'm always pulling muscles and twisting ankles and stuff on these things, because you're always jumping over something, or falling, and I don't know, maybe I don't warm up enough first. <laughs> but I'm always like going to the chiropractor to get my neck fixed or something. Lethal Weapon 3 also marks the return of Oscar-winning actor Joe Pesci, whose portrayal of a half-pint con man brought much of the comic relief to the last film. It's funny. He's a funny guy. Because he's so, he, he's a lot smaller than us, like, and he looks like, it's so, un, it, it's so unequal. I mean, there's two really Come big on, sort of cops man. sort of slapping this little guy around who's this little con man, but he should keep bouncing back for more. It's, there's something funny about that. Director Richard Donner says okay. having fun with the, the film is part of Lethal okay. Weapon's success. Ready? So does that mean there'll be a fourth? You hear a dollar sign going off behind us, a little cash register ring in the back. What would it take? It would take um, a success of three, and it would take, um, a, I assume, a good screenplay to provoke both Mel and Danny, studio, obviously, and uh, hopefully they'll ask me to do it. Lethal Weapon 3 is due to hit theaters this summer.